Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of them. Man, we up here today, man. You know me, how I do it over here. You been seeing them. These people be on the internet all the time. I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life, man. These folk right here, man, I don't know how to start. Where do I start? You know what I'm saying? These folks, let me see. <laughs> one of them got a, 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 a business downtown. One of them in everybody business all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, one of them, uh, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, I was downtown with her one time, and, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, we did skits at a place. It was dope. Taylor's in the building, and Mama Scott with her. I don't know what they planning, but whatever it is, it ain't happening like that in here, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> how y'all doing? What's up? We good? <laughs> Man, you know, I don't start shows like everybody else. They want me, they say, why he don't do it like the nigga? I ain't them. Yeah. I'm somebody else. I'm somebody. <laughs> you unique. Hustle. There yeah. it is. You so, like best friends as a Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just get into this. Why have y'all come together? Because y'all two, y'all monster brands. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Well, what the hell like y'all doing together? Y'all can go to jail. You know, you can't put a lot of people together. That's a conspiracy. Y'all got a lot going on. Y'all going to jail. Y'all got too much going on. Y'all niggas, y'all legit? Because I don't want to go if y'all legit. Okay, well, tell me, just, Mama Scott, what did you done put together that long? You always doing something. I hope you come this time. Hey, listen, last event, you know, where I was at. Yeah, we got, we got kind of, we got shut down. We got hated on a little bit. But now it's a new day, man. Tell me about this. I mean, y'all empowering women of some sort. Mm -hmm. I'm coming, but I'm going to stand outside, Ain't you know, because so I don't want to be in the midst of no, all that, you know. Well, men can come, too. Okay, well, tell yeah. me what it is. Let's but, talk and about Why it. did you come up with this idea of doing it for all ladies? Okay, well, this particular episode is geared towards the women. It's geared towards the women, and the next episode will be geared towards the men. Okay. So there's actually yeah. two separate um, um, entities that we're going to focus on, mm -hmm. on both genders. So um, Break the Cycle is like something that I wanted to put out there as far as like bringing us together, all the entrepreneurs, people that want to be entrepreneurs, uh, people that's just going through stuff in life. It's like a women's empowerment conference. And I wanted to bring together some of the most powerful women that I know of that are doing massive things in their field. And maybe people don't even know who they are. Right. You know, so it's a big networking opportunity as well as an enlightening opportunity because they're they're going to express and talk about some of their um, personal endeavors, how they got to where they are now, uh, actually text testimonies, um, giving enlightening, uh, enlightening on what they're doing and what they bring to the table, and just like as a motivational purpose for women. Man, hey, yeah. man, you know what? Uh, that's dope, you know what I mean, for you to even break the cycle. How did you come up with that name? What cycle y'all breaking? Because there's a bunch of cycles to break. Yeah, I think break the cycle is... Um, it came from me wanting to impact a life one at a time. And breaking the cycle comes from us not reaching out, not helping each other, especially in the in the black race. Uh, we have a real bad tendency of not wanting to enlighten each other and inform each other of things that can be helpful across the board as far as our culture and our race. Um, whereas you see in other races, they all pull together and they push each other like in the Hispanic mm -hmm. uh, 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 race and even a uh, Caucasian race, they stick together. Black people, we have a real bad habit of pulling apart. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to push. We feel like we're intimidations when it comes to somebody doing the same thing that we do. And I want to stop you right there mm -hmm. because when you say black people, because I see people from other countries who are black yes. that stick together yes. for their, you know, their race or their culture. Yes. But... Look at him. <laughs> you know, because I don't like this. You know, when you start talking about other countries and you from another country and they stick together over there, I get very damn competitive. Because there's some niggas over here that help some niggas to get up like Jay-Z. Yep. There's some niggas over here that help some niggas to get up like, uh, say, all type of uh, hip-hop artists, uh, all type of people that's got businesses. Yes. There are an elite group of people that yes, do stick together. Some. And I think a lot of times we so busy seeing these issues because we do have a lot of issues and well-deserved. 
Yeah. Because of what the hell our people been through. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these, uh, all these other countries still went through things not as like, well. Not like us. Those slaves not that like you're us. talking about escaped off not of that like ship us. and went not to like these us. countries. Yeah. And I feel like it's programmed over here yeah. to compete. You know what? And over there, you know in what? other countries, and you know, they other assist ethnicities. and come together. It's like they grew up to know <laughs> this is what you do. This is you come I'm together. You know what I'm saying? Right. And people like Jay Z and all of them who helped other people. Don't get I'm not talking it. about helped I'm other sure, people. I'm talking about being in the projects and being brought up through their neighborhoods, helping them, pushing their brands, making them to be who they are. The babies, the bird, the bird man's, the the masterpiece. These people started out in their neighborhood, and a lot of time our people forget about that. Yes. We got people that's in the inner city that do help each other, yeah. but right. we do have some damn fools. But you know what I'm point, saying? You Y'all know, got the right nigga in here now. Y'all ain't gonna just come on It took a minute yeah. for them to actually break the cycle and get to where they were going. I, I, they I agree with that. I, like I, I agree with that, yeah. but I do understand that there, there are things that are being done by people that are elite, like these people that we don't talk about enough as well. We got to start focusing on the positive things that we're winning in. I know we lose in every damn neighborhood yeah. you go to because we go to them when I go out of town. Yeah. But we definitely got to make sure we big up the ones that are, are, are able to come out of their situation. And that's, that's what all I I'm see. Saying. And that's yeah. what I see Mama Scott trying to do right. is trying to break that cycle. Trying by to bringing get us people all bringing together, us, right. by bringing us all together in one common spot, giving Thank us something you. to look forward to every year annually and stuff like that. Because I didn't know about Taylor until y'all introduced me to That's her. My name. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many people that we could be supporting and we could spread the word. Hey, you got Taylor in Dallas. You got such and such here. If we learn that it's good to network instead of hey, I ain't fucking with them over there because mm -hmm. I don't know them type of mentality. You right. know, that's what's stopping us from advancing. As a race, you know what I'm exactly. saying? I'm not talking about just abroad because, like a, like you say, you do have several that have made that example as to how to pull together. But from where I'm from, it's like far and few between. You know what I'm well, saying? Where so, you from, everybody ain't wearing them damn you rings like too. you. I don't, you got these rings on. <laughs> hey, where I'm from, nigga. Damn, where you from, nigga? I want to go over there. You know? <laughs> I just started wearing these damn rings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've been blessed. But other than that, I'm still who I am. The rings yeah. don't make me. You know what I'm saying? Or none of it makes me. It's just that that you 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 can I'm an example a two time felon okay Ooh. out of East Texas two states Texas and Louisiana partnered yeah. in Louisiana made some mistakes early on in life they told me I would never be able to do anything but but probably uh, minimum wage jobs okay and coming That's out dope. of that situation I broke the cycle by you know I've already paid my time behind the bars I'm not gonna come out into society and let them double jeopardize me with my life. So I right. chose to go harder, you know Real what I'm saying? Hard. So that's when I came out and I started going for jobs that were double digit in manufacturing, in the field where I knew that I could get in to take care of my children and my family. So you have to stop thinking that you can't do something and go against the odds to make it happen and don't wallow in your pity. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like when things it. like that happen, you have to supersede what the normal expectation of others have for you. And it's not yeah. even just pity. What it is, yeah. is fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it is. A lot of people are scared. Yes. Um, they've grown up hearing, you're nothing. You can't do this. Yes. Whether growing up hearing it or being a female yes. with a certain man and some men, you know, scared for them to go out there on their own because they feel like I'm not going to she's not going to need me anymore. Right. I don't want her to be independent. Oh, you're not going to be able to do good. Just just mental abuse yes. from childhood coming up. Man, I mean, you guys, man, first of all, thank you for even putting something together once yes. again. It's it's becoming a norm for you to step out and do <laughs> things that are different than what other people that are doing around you that look like you. And it's just a beautiful thing thank for you. somebody to come from where I'm from to step up to the plate and make something like that happen. You know, um, you know, I, I, I see bigger and bigger things happening with you because God don't stop blessing. No, when you, he, don't. he said, you know, you, you keep on doing what you're supposed to do. He's going to definitely do what he has to do. And you, yeah, you know, it's beautiful. You know, I wanted to link y'all two up together because I, I knew both of y'all are special, you're leaders. Yes. That was the whole game for me. That's why we thought about And for yeah. your you. passions. Yeah. Both Taylor, have similar Taylor passions. Taylor is, is a hustler too, you yes. know. And two hustlers to come together ain't no ain't no telling what can happen. That's so right. that's what I like about it. I know she does the gala, right? Yeah, um, I do for my birthday. Oh, Every okay. year I do a, a gala. Um, this year I actually did a really big backpack drive. So okay. it was pretty cool. We gave away over 500 backpacks. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh, it was man, really that's dope. really good. Yeah. yeah. That's and what you it's just all did about. one too. And you did a um, back yeah, to school. Yeah, she doubled mine though. We did 200. <laughs> 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 it don't matter. It don't matter. Something is better than nothing. Right. Y'all both double mine. They gave a damn thing away yet. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to get some shoes away or something. I need to hold these. Them hoes high too. We're going to have to get some shoes away. We got to beat that. You know what I'm saying? So, so no, but it but it's just to be organized because Taylor, I want to say you know I'm very proud of the things yeah. I've seen you accomplish because even with your backpack drive and the things that you've done, I see how you go out here and you get donations for these, yeah, yeah. and how they came in and how you document everything and you put it out there because yeah. by documenting and putting it out there, your journeys it show other women and yes. other people that, that it's achievable, it's yes. achievable. Mm-hmm. Yes. and especially if you show yourself being available they might can hit you up in your DM not about oh I like you type of thing but how did you do this how can I contact these people and get the results yes. that you got and yeah. I know that you're willing to share all this information with anybody that reaches out to you yeah no. I do that a lot I share a lot like I'm an open book I, like mm-hmm. I tell people all the time I have a PhD in YouTube and a master's degree in Google yeah. and anything that I'm able to obtain free off the internet I don't mind supplying people with that same mm-hmm. you know information because right. we should all be able to win yes. um, the only thing that I'm learning now currently is to be very mindful of who you surround yourself with because who or what you surround yourself with will ultimately mold your energy your mind your your aura like how you move just everything yes. so if you surround yourself with negative negativity you're going to always have like a negative mind right. frame absolutely and see the negative you know outlooks of everything if you surround yourself with positivity you'll always have like a positive perspective even when something negative happens mm-hmm. but but you know one thing i want to just add to that is the fact of your inner being your inner spirit mm-hmm. making sure you build that up because whatever outside is going on or going down you know it's within you i know the prodigal son found within himself and he came to himself and said how many high servants do my father have so it's something about that inner man and feeding yourself spiritually inside to where everything around you starts to develop because of the power that's working within you mm-hmm. yeah i'm just giving it to you you know how i do <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it, it's, it, it's something about uh being powered up you know having an understanding of your spiritual connection and understanding how yes. to tap into that world to right. where you can oversee I, I see clearer when I read and do the things that I'm supposed to do to uplift my integrity and morals mm-hmm. and if I take that time and power up like I should with prayer and everything that go with it everybody is going to get out the way yeah. it ain't going to really matter but it's going to take some being by yourself a lot of time because a lot of time people going to move away from you because of that positive energy that you're putting out yes. that's, true. that's the whole game you got to be willing to walk by yourself when you yes. start to power up with God you got to chase purpose yeah. that's real I like when that. When you walk yeah. by yourself, that's when you learn who you are the most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and nothing uh, wrong with it either. <laughs> breaking the cycle. I want to get back there because that's what we came here for to understand yeah. this whole event coming up this weekend. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, breaking the cycle. You know, um, that, that that says a lot, man, with with, with our women. You know, yes. I could go there for as the one ones that's been going through, whether it be abuse, rape, yes. domestic violence, depression. all type of stuff, depression. Yes. Who are some of the speakers that's going to key in on some of these things? Wow, we have some awesome uh, queens coming to the stage. We have Lakita Schuyler. She is the CEO of Pretty Quick Taxes here out of Dallas, Texas. She owns um, about six, seven tax companies here. She's one of my mentors okay. out of Dallas. And we have... Uh, Brittany Stanton out of Dallas, Texas that okay. is coming too. She's also a CEO of Bior Truth. She just went viral on the nope. internet a couple of days ago. For, Didn't you just tell me about yeah, her? Yeah, she's a beast. Yeah. What and did she go viral for? Her song. She did oh. a uh, she mix, it was what we want to call it, to Get Even, which is Finesse Two Times song. Okay. Yeah, she crushed it. Like, all the oh, blue okay. checks was in her inbox. Like, she's massive. Like, real massive. Wow. Dope. She's, she's a real big fireball. Uh, of course, Taylor mm-hmm. um, yeah, from out of Dallas, out. Texas. She's the CEO of her own company and entity as well. Beautiful spirit. I bring a lot to the table. And we have Miss Red Carpet as a CEO as well of her brand. She basically is uh, entwined with uh, Rap A Lot Records as well as um, Exotic Pop out of Houston. And we have uh, Miss Paris Sweet. She's uh, um, she's going to be our host out of Longview, Texas. We have uh, Brittany's mom, uh, Verlinda Stanton. She has like the key to the city in Tyler, Texas. She's an author. She has a lot to bring to the table as well. 
and you I, added more to it because yeah, when she, I spoke to you last, it wasn't mom. that many. I just added her um, because she asked to be a part of it. And right. She's a real massive entity. And I was really honored that she would even, you know, reach out to me to be a part. So, right. That's dope. and those are my people um, as far as the the panel. And then of course Griselle to be out of Miami, Florida is flying in. She's our keynote speaker, mm -hmm. and uh, she's more like she's her CEO too. She's also she used to be an artist, but she's more on women empowerment and doing this type of stuff now so uh, I really appreciate her she, all of these young ladies bring like they're giants you know as I look at their biographies and stuff like that of their lives it's really amazing to see the 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 levels that they are on as black women you know where they are in their lives you know it's just beautiful because we really don't know who we are around. Right. You know, you can't think that you're the only one doing something because we're clearly not. There are so many other people that maybe are uh, not recognized on the level that they should be, but bringing the awareness in a group of people, even if it starts at 100, 200 people, it's going to spread. You know, it's going to be contagious. Mm -hmm. So I want it to be contagious in a positive manner. So that's that's what it is. So we'll have uh, drinking. It's going to be inclusive of your tickets um, and also food and appetizers. Yeah, um, yeah. Who, 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 well, that's what I was waiting for. That's going to be, <laughs> uh, well, be catered by uh, is it Sean be, Milano. It ain't going to be Shalaskis, is it? Nah, like if we have a caterer you know, that's doing it for us. Nah, we, had a okay. we actually have a taste test this Thursday night. Cool. Oh. with her to do some of the uh, foods that we'll be serving this weekend. going to be a variety of wings. I think she's got Alfredo pasta. She's got some I'm green salad. Um, <laughs> well, we got Miss Billy out of Longview, Texas. Miss Webster, she's a real big pastry maker out of Longview. Massive. Everything from scratch. Have about six, seven different pound cakes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh. Made from scratch. Real butter. You know? <laughs> but you know, one thing I was curious about, um, you, you talked about all these keynote speakers and everything like that, but will you be going on stage Stage and telling your testimony. Will you be going on stage and like talking to? Through? Yeah, because you have a deep story like as well. Like, I'm gonna be on. Let him get the book, story. baby. I tell him get the book, get baby. The book. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't. Don't tell him. We ain't ready yet. Don't do that. No. Yeah, mine gonna be a no, movie. Hell yeah. It'll be a movie no. for real. What, I, what I'm telling you, don't do it. Yeah, you know so, what I'm saying? So ECO say he's gonna do. Yeah, that. No. I feel like we need a summary or something. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Make them yeah. no. Make them like Just a synopsis. You better you better down there with Ti. One thing I do know that gonna make you wait when you yes. anticipate something then it basically makes it more yes. you know becoming but he gives when you it teasers though no yeah. no don't give them nothing yeah. yet you can say hi and hey you know you you pay you pay for everything yeah. you pay for you do this right here he yeah. ain't even invited inside you know what I'm saying so, I'm outside, outside but I'm telling you don't give them niggas your story for nothing girl they'll use you until they can't use you no more but I, I, yeah. I wanted to also recognize some of the women because sometimes they don't get cherished like they should you know so so the first 130 people, me and Mr. Scott, make sure that they're going to get long stem roses. Um, they're going to be purple. Uh, they're going to have commemorative tiaras for the first 130 women to come through the door. So that's going to be huge. Of course, red carpet. Uh, it's I'll be the be first down. one through the door. I was yeah. about to say, I'm going to be the first one through the door. <laughs> really? Red carpet. And then, you know, that massive boss talk one-on-one going to be in the building along with Shay Trendy and her team. So we have a, a real well-rounded event coming up and it's really reasonable. I didn't try to capitalize it. Probably the money we're making probably won't even pay for the building. I just wanted people to get in the, in the mode of paying for something that's this great you know because I've done stuff so free it, it, it killed me to even charge for this really mm -hmm. they was like you need to charge I was like yeah. $25 you know and that's <laughs> for the ladies and 35 yeah. for the men yeah. <laughs> so it'll swap in October so in October um, be I'm, I'm working for the ladies. on um, Free Ray Rick Walsh he's supposed to be my keynote speaker okay, in October cool. so we're working on that right now along with some other men that are mm -hmm. they have great testimonies out of East Texas in October so okay. this is just the beginning of something massive and I'm very excited there's about it there's not a date set to it yet uh, tentatively the weekend of October the 15th because okay. Big S the plug I think I booked him for that weekend as well out of okay. Dallas is it the same same location yes it's going to cool. be the same location yeah That's man dope. just dope for you to uh, yeah. like I say to keep on doing things to try to create uh, some unity 
some some things that'll try to you know yeah. create some 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 things that where we can look back and be appreciative yeah. of what we've done this year. Yeah. Those are the things that we want to be able to look back on and say, hey yeah. man, we did that, you know. Yes. Boy, black excellence. You know yes. what I'm saying? I thank you and I appreciate you for even like I say coming up with these things. Uh, same with you, you yes, know. I mean, you know, I I really hate going places. Just yeah. to be real with y'all, and I, I go. <laughs> But I really she don't want to go. I'm telling you. Yeah, but when I come, when I come I, I, it's a, it, yeah, it's real <laughs> throwed off. Like I'm yeah. here, yeah. nigga. What y'all doing? Yeah. You know. But then I pull up out of there. But I've been happy with the yeah. with the with the times I've shared with you guys, and I appreciate you and I thank you. Yeah. For letting me even ride you. with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all. Yeah. And I have a question. So, because um, this is going to come out before the event. Yes. So, if anybody would like to buy tickets, where can they go and buy tickets? They can go to Eventbrite. They're available on Eventbrite at Break the Cycle uh, on there. So, you can find them real easy. Or they can cash at me at dollar sign fast CEO, F A S T C E O. And that's. Pretty much what it is. And we're also giving away 20 door prizes, too, randomly. So okay, we're doing so what, all what's kinds the prizes? of stuff. What's the prizes? All kinds of stuff from dishware sets to clocks to blankets, the throws, all kinds of stuff. Um, cup sets. It's just, it's a, it's a really uplifting event. You know, we're oh, going to do cool. line dancing in between. It's going to be a lot of stuff that's going on that's going to keep us active and keep us really going throughout the night. So, I'm excited about it. And Taylor, you were about to say something. Yeah, I wanted to know, like, are you going to do um, like a live recording or film it or something? Because I feel like this is going to be a conversation that a lot of women and men need yes. to hear. So, men can get an inside perspective of I'm, women. Exactly. I'm working on that now. I have a videographer by the name of J.R. Getham out of Longview, Texas that has volunteered to come and cover it for us. So we're working on that so you guys can also have it as, com- you know, mm-hmm. stuff in your archives to show right. your kids and stuff later because it is our first annual. So some things you can't go back and undo. So I want to actually capture that for everybody. So I'm working on him with his team right now to be able I to I might bring it. a behind the scene guy Yeah, too. I need Boss Talk 101. I'll bring one of my guys and then do a behind the scene here okay. just so we can put it out on the channel. But I'm okay. just, you know, the... I'm just really like, uh, yeah, I'm excited. And, 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 you know, really looking forward to hanging out with you, you know, hearing some of them whopping lies that y'all feel. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh really God. looking Who forward to hearing some of the things that, boy, I have, the fish that men have caught will never be the size of the fish that you girls have really pretty much caught as well. I know y'all be lying. I be sitting back and I say, boy, and they get to talking and you give them some wine and yeah. the next thing you know, all hell and broke loose. You know what I'm saying? It's security going to be there. It's cause no I'm not, different than when the men get I can bring you, so, you know what? Barbershop. Exaggerating. Oh my God. And I'm next to a barbershop. So trust me, I know. You hear all the stories. <laughs> I'm outnumbered, so I'm not going to go there with you niggas. <laughs> no, I, I, I really, I really, I, I want to get just, just a quick shout out to you. I've been seeing you. I've seen you working, man. I've seen you over Boosie House. I've seen you on pictures with Tiny and T.I. I've seen you, on, I've seen you with a lot of different people. People, yeah. it's some that, that, that old comedian nigga out of Louisiana that, that that we didn't link up with. I think I seen him on your page. I'm trying to think if that was him. It was a nigga, a comedian doing something. And you posted it. Some girl he was not paying attention or something. I, oh yeah, yeah yeah I seen the nigga yeah. on there I'm telling you I'm yeah. watching don't think I ain't watching you know but at the end of the day just give me a little spill on how it's been cause this has been a hell of a year for you already oh, yeah. mm-hmm. so give me a little spill on like just your artists and some of the things what you can let us see in on okay. you know cause you don't want to tell a nigga everything I done told you this mama Scott shout out to my entire staff at my financial firm, first of all, because they are the reason how I'm able to do what I'm Damn able to sure do. Is. So if it was not for my financial team, we wouldn't have a budget. Okay, for sure. So f- for sure, shout out to Fast Financial Firm, LLC in Longview. Then it comes my husband, well, he's first. Yeah, I was about God, to say he's So I don't want to put him <laughs> secondary. He's first, which is my other CEO, okay, yes, yes, which is yes. Ray Scott. And then my team, of giants on the music side, which is three of my sons. AJ One K got his blue check this year. Hey. We, yeah, that was huge for us. And he had the venture with Boosie that we completed this year. He went over a million streams on it on Spade TV. So shout out to them. Um, shout out to 
uh, DJ K for acquiring the feature with T.I. this year. So we were working on that behind the scenes and franchise coming out the woodworks and doing his thing right now. He's got features with Big X, the plug. So does the journey. Uh, we, we're doing a lot of work. And then we have Say Look I Trilly, which is massive. I produce on the team as well. Also, his own entity, his own artist. He has a feature coming out with OTB Fastlane and Rico Reckless and um, Big Honcho from Tech Luwap. They also have a feature from Tech Luwap out of uh, Baton Rouge. We just got a lot of big That's stuff a lot going of stuff. on. Yeah, so shout out to Bugatti Casino, my godson that just came home from, from a situation. I just, I love everybody. Big X to plug. I, I, I know a lot of people in this industry based on just me being me, right. you know, not being, that's why I try to tell people, just be yourself and people will cling to that, the genuineness of who mm -hmm. you are. You don't have to have a lot. I didn't have anything when we started off. Nothing. We was in a park in Longview, Texas. That's real. And God made a way, mm -hmm. you know, through his blessings, all this is able to come right. about. So I just want to shout out to the biggest entity in my life, right. which is the Lord, yeah. you know, and that's just what it is. So, and now I think, and then Solo, Solo is our newest artist on uh, Fast NT. Mm. And um, where is Solo from? Solo is from Arkansas. He from Arkansas. So shout out to him as what well. What part of Arkansas? Conway. Where? Conway. Yeah. Conway. Okay. He's not like he's from Arkansas. No, he's <laughs> from no Arkansas. <laughs> He ain't from Arkansas. Yeah, so we just pulling together. And one thing I have learned, E CEO, is that you have to have a team, you know. Yeah, and a lot right. of a lot of my people, Mama Scott, sit down, sit down, sit down. So I have massive people on my team. I mean, I just want to shout out to my my office manager, Antoine Sadler. He's like my right arm, and everything I do, he holds me up. When I feel like I'm I'm going by side, you know, beside the way, he's always there to remind me you can't do that. And we do that to each other, along with Gary and Barry, which is my other office manager, and with. AJ 1K and Reagan, Morgan, uh, Regina, Jamie, uh, just everybody that's affiliated with us, John, um, that has helped us this year. We did it. We're doing it as a family first, and we're going to continue. We're nowhere near. We're not rich, guys. We're just working, and that's the thing. I want everybody to know, work, and it'll pay off. No, yeah. you are rich. You're yeah. a millionaire. Your money just ain't hit your account yet. It's no, no. Y'all no. no. yeah, no, 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 no. can quit that cap. She a millionaire. <laughs> she a damn millionaire. <laughs> no, she a millionaire. No, you for real. No, I ain't no. You always talking about going to be. No, you need 10 million. <laughs> you a 10 million? Yeah, you better step up, hell. I'm not, I don't play. I know the game now, hell. I count real good. I'm a country nigga. That's all I do is sit outside and count cars. I'm that guy. Count cars. I count cars. I count dogs. I count turtles. That woman got everything. She got money already, but she want to excel. You can't do what she doing you and they had the money. But at the end of the day, go to 10 to 20 million. Don't play with this nigga, man. Okay. Now, what is this right here? I was here? just about to ask yes. what's going on. Yes. What is going on with this? I really, these niggas right here, I don't know who these niggas is. <laughs> who is this? This is my cool cup out of uh, Houston, Texas, part of Exotic Pop. Um, let me hold my yeah, brand hold up real up quick. And show it. Uh, yes, this is my cool cup. It's called Purple Berry Passion. Uh, Exotic Pop reached out to me on behalf of Latrey Johnson and huge entity. She's like Miss Red Carpet. That's how I got involved with Exotic Pop and Cool Cup. And they say, you're a pioneer of East Texas. Everybody that's on this is either famous or they're known, stuff like that. And you need uh, your own juice for East Texas. So East Texas is waiting on this to hit the stores. Y'all are blowing me up with uh, where is it at? I'm going to get it out there soon. I promise you guys. But this is an honor to be able to be the face of East Texas. And I don't care who don't think I am. This says I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you boy. said something about you being the second woman something. What yes, was? that was another uh, there's another rapper's mom. What was her name? Do you remember the other lady that's got the, the... Oh, Big Mo's Big Mo's mom. She's the only other lady I think that's on their juice. Man. Yeah, that's that's awesome. just a great accomplishment, yeah. but doesn't surprise me at all, yeah. man. Thank you so much for uh, coming on Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Thank you, you know, we Mr. really Baker. got some dope <laughs> bosses in here right now. <laughs> Uh, um, bossed up, you know, telling people what to do. Hey, go take this over there. <laughs> do this over there. Move this right Why here. Are you still on yeah. that clock and you See what I'm clients. saying? Look, yeah, these niggas is really bosses. <laughs> this ain't nothing to play with, y'all. This is a real statement. These folks go downtown and check out 
got Touching Skin, huh? Taylor Touching yes. Skin. I'm gonna yeah, check it out. You got to check it out. Yeah. Uh, she down there uh, putting tiles on niggas' faces, and uh, <laughs> yeah, a uh, uh, Bubba Dub called me this morning. He's still, man. I, I, yeah, you put you put me on uh, Gutter TV, man. Shout yeah. out to all them people that done went down there, man. <laughs> yeah. CKP, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got. I done sent a lot of low D's in, man. Yeah. I, Mama Scott, Shout where you going? Bubba Dub, Bubba Dub, where you heart going? Team. I'm going soon. Soon as I can get still, I'm always on the move. Like next weekend We'll be back in Dallas Next weekend We have a show in Dallas no. With Shay Trendy uh, So we, we just moving I got moving. you we, I got you You got yeah, me no, Okay right. And she loves to do Couples massages yeah. So yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. There you go My you boy He's coming over there Get that face Get that hot towel On that face That's the way I was like Hell no, nah, I ain't going But when I got over there I didn't want to leave hell. You didn't want to leave I was like, like, going to the And then he got on He was like Alright This cool <laughs> Sleep <laughs> no, but man, just dope to have good friends like you guys, man. I'm going to shut this down, man, okay. so we can get this thing out tomorrow and right. get you guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, just uh, keep on doing what you guys are doing. You're inspiring a lot of people, including myself, man. Love to see you guys hustle like you do, right? Yes, definitely. Miss Jamaica always, you know, she yeah. checking everything out, you know what I'm saying, trying to find out who not and nice, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. Santa Claus in this whole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to East Texas, dog. I love East Texas, East Texas. I love you so much. Man. Shout out to everybody that's affiliated, call yourself from East Texas, no matter what region you're from, what area code. I love East Texas. Y'all, y'all heard that, yeah. and, and a fight go with it. <laughs> you know, no, everybody with me. That nigga right there, he tall. Yeah, yeah, fight he go with it, man. He checks in the building, yes. man. We love everybody, man. We love the way you guys are moving, man. Continue much success, guys. We love you. you. Hey, y'all know what? It's been another great segment. Yeah. Hey. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. And we out. <laughs>